It's only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea. It wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Yes, it's only a canvas sky hanging over a muslin tree. It wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Without your love, it's a hungry talk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. It's only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Yes, it's only a canvas sky hanging over a muslin tree. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Without your love, it's a honky tonk parade. It's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Bonham and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. If you believed in me. If you believed in me. Siempre que te pregunto que cuándo, cómo y dónde, tú siempre me respondes, quizás, quizás, quizás. Y así pasan los días y yo desesperando y tú, tú contestando, quizás, quizás, quizás. Estás perdiendo el tiempo pensando, pensando. Por lo que más tú quieras, hasta cuando, hasta cuando. Y así pasan los días y yo desesperando y tú, tú contestando. Quizás, quizás, quizás.
Siempre que te pregunto que cuando, cómo y dónde, tú siempre me respondes, quizás, quizás, quizás. Y así pasan los días y yo desesperando y tú, tú contestando, quizás, quizás, quizás. Y así pasan los días, y yo desesperando, y tú, tú contestando, quizás, 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 quizás. Thank you. 
each night for someone exactly like you. Why should we spend money on a show or two? No one does those love scenes exactly like you. You make me feel so grand. I want to hand the world to you. You seem to understand each foolish little scheme I'm scheming, dream I'm dreaming. Now I know our mother taught me to be true. She met me for someone exactly like you, exactly like you, exactly like you. Damn, is Adrian actually at the school for his speech? Hey, ask me how I knew my true love was true. Was that Stone's voice just now? Replied, something here inside cannot be denied. They said someday you'll find all who love our blind. When your heart's on fire, you must realize smoke gets in your eyes. So I chaped them. And I gaily laughed to think they could doubt, doubt my love. Yesterday, my love has flown away. I am without my love. Now, laughing friends deride. Tears I cannot hide. So I smile and say, When a lovely flame dies, smoke gets in your eyes. So I chafed them and I gaily laughed to think they could doubt my love. Yesterday, my love has flown away. I am without friends deride tears I cannot hide so I smile and say when a lovely flame dies smoke gets in your <laughs> told me that I was right out of my head the way he described you. He said I'd be better dead than live. I didn't listen to his jive. I knew all along he was all wrong and I knew that he thought I was crazy but I'm not. My analyst told me that I was right out of my head. He said any treatment 
but I'm not that easily led, he said. I was the type that was most inclined, went out of his sight to be out of my mind, and I knew that he thought I was crazy, but I'm not too no. They say, as a child, I appeared a little bit wild with all my crazy ideas. I knew what was happening, I knew I was a genius. What's so strange when you know that you're a wizard at three? I knew that this was meant to be. I heard little children were supposed to sleep tight. That's why I drank a fifth of vodka one night. My parents got frantic, didn't know what to do. I saw some crazy scenes before I came to now. Do you think I was crazy? I may have been only three, but I swinging. They all did Harry Grandel. They all did Edison and also at Einstein. So why should I feel sorry when they just couldn't understand the reasoning and the logic that went on in my head? I just thought it was a Hello everyone and welcome and congratulations. This is Whiting Dimmick. I'm just one, want to make sure that you all have a chance to ask any questions about how this Zoom is going to work and the, how the YouTube is going to work or any of that. Anyone have any questions?
Thank you all for the great questions about video. So video on now. And then for the graduate recognition portion, we want just the next five to 10 graduates videos on and then back off after you're recognized. And then when that portion concludes, we would love to have everybody's, everybody's videos back on. And we'll be taking some great screenshots of the tiled uh, photos of all of you, tiled live, live shots of all of you and putting those on YouTube for everyone who's watching on YouTube to see. Thank you all. Des petits brins de tout, mais qui ont du sel en notre ami ravieux. Le passant dans la rue nous envie. C'est si bon de goûter. Dans ses yeux, un espoir merveilleux qui donne la présence si bon. Ces petites sensations, ça va me comme rien. C'est tellement, tellement bon. C'est tellement, tellement bon. C'est tellement, tellement bon. Of all the girls I've known and I've known some, until I first met you I was lonesome. When you came in sight, my heart grew light and this whole world seemed new to me. You really swell, I have to admit you deserve expressions that really fit you. I've racked my brain hoping to explain the things that you do to me. By mere bis to shame, please let me explain. By mere bis to shame means that you're grand. By mere bis to shame, once again, you gotta let me please explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me say just how grand you are. I try to explain by mere bits to shame. So kiss me, say you'll understand.
explain it means you're the fairest in the land i could say bella bella even say wunderbar each language only helps me say just how proud you are i try to explain by mere bits to shame so kiss me you'll understand you'll understand you'll understand Hello, everybody. It's good to see everybody and be with, here with you. As the Dean of the University of Colorado Law School, it is my privilege to welcome you to this virtual graduation ceremony honoring the class of 2020. I know I speak for the entire law school community in expressing deep regret for not being able to gather and celebrate in person. As you all know, the world is gripped with a rare experience that causes us to separate physically. But as this gathering of souls through the modern marvel of technology demonstrates, it does not truly separate us. While this is a moment of celebration, we cannot help but pause to think of those who have passed or experienced loss during this exceptional time or of those for whom the challenges being imposed fall especially hard. We are reminded of how precious life and living is. Today we celebrate the lives and accomplishments of the members of the class of 2020 who have earned the Juris Doctor degree, the Legend Magister degree, commonly known as the LLM, or the Master of Studies in Law degree. Every single one of you has worked hard for the degree you are now being conferred. Congratulations to all of you. At the outset, I'd like to extend a special welcome to our commencement speaker, the Honorable Justice Monica Marquez of the Colorado Supreme Court. I also welcome two alumni who will be part of our ceremony, Congressman Joe Neguse and Richard Murray, the chair of the Colorado Law Alumni Board they will be participating by a recorded message. I'd like to open this celebration around four words, gratitude, love, service, 
and joy. Gratitude. Gratitude for the family and friends of those being celebrated today. Graduates, you share this celebration with your families and friends. Those who may now be with you and those elsewhere, they have supported you and share in this accomplishment. Many of them made sacrifices with you and for you to get to this day. In many cases, those sacrifices have been profound, representing unconditional commitment and hope. In the tradition of many of you, thanks and honor are due as well to your ancestors of previous generations who laid down the foundations of wisdom, inspiration, and opportunity for the path to this day. Graduates, let thinking of family and friends help us remember where we come from. Where we are from, that is the place and people, will provide us important bearings as we continue to develop as professionals and as human beings. Years ago, when I left New Mexico to go off to law school, my grandmother told me, no te olvides de donde vienes, porque solo así podrás realmente saber quién eres mientras caminas en la vida. Don't forget from where you come, because only in that way can you truly know who you are as you walk through life. Please now turn to any family members or other loved ones who may be with you and say a big thank you. Thanks are also due to our faculty. Without our distinguished faculty, none of this would be possible. They are the backbone of the law school. For three years, they challenged you to think differently, to learn, and to lead. Our faculty members enrich the lives of our students and serve the profession and the larger community in innumerable ways. Their research and scholarship are, are beacons of wisdom that shine across the legal profession throughout the country and, and in many, many cases around the globe. In the midst of the last semester of your law school experience, the members of our faculty had to abruptly shift to a model of teaching remotely. Like me, many of them were barely familiar with Zoom before, but they all admir admir admirably and with grace transitioned to teaching you through a computer screen. I know you join me in deep gratitude for their Herculean efforts to quickly transition to online learning. Just as I know they join me in gratitude for your similar effort, efforts. Graduates, we are ever so grateful and proud of you for continuing your path to today in a radically different and for some especially challenging environment. There are many reasons why we will look back on the class of 2020 fondly, but this one will stand out. Thank you. Finally, gratitude, gratitude is due to the law school staff who in many ways and through a host of different vocations and tasks support the law school and our mission. The members of our staff are first rate and their dedication and commitment can be seen on a daily basis, including in organizing this event. Love. The gratitude among us finds a fitting companion in the bonds of love that have been formed among the members of the class of 2020 during their time at Colorado Law. The love I speak of is the love of close friendships that have been forged during your time at the law school. Graduates, as you move on, you will do well to nurture these friendships while heeding the words of the writer Isabel Allende who said, true friendship resists time, distance, and silence. I also speak of the love that can bind all those sharing a common experience with overarching solidarity and caring. I am continually struck by manifestations of solidarity and love among the students at Colorado Law, including the members of the class of 2020. In the often challenging march toward graduation, acts of kindness overshadowed contention among the class of 2020. During this time of physical isolation, constant challenge and latent fear, and for some hardship and even tragedy, the love within our community has been manifested in innumerable ways. This love is to be cherished and amplified throughout life. Service. The kind of love I've just mentioned carries into other shared experiences and into the broader society. And in doing so, it animates service in various ways. 
Alongside working toward their degrees, the members of the class of 2020 collectively contributed thousands of hours of unpaid service. Graduates, as you go forward in your careers, I trust that you will continue to act in a spirit of service to the public and the needy, consistent with the values embedded in our profession and wisdom handed down over time. Shawnee Chief Tecumseh said, seek to make your life long and its purpose in the service of your people. Many of you will go on to jobs with nonprofit organizations or in government service, but not all or even most of you will. In all cases, however, our profession values service and engaging in pro bono activities. And whatever job you may have, it is likely to entail skills and influence that can be called to service and bear upon pressing issues of our day in one way or another. We live in a difficult time in which injustices and inequalities are amplified. The unparalleled disparities in wealth that exist in our country have translated into highly disproportionate hardship for the economically less well off and for people of color. Much has been said about the structural changes and innovation that will come about as a result of the pandemic we are living. America, we are told, will not be the same. But what will that change be? Will it bring greater equality and genuine freedom for more in our society? Or will it go in the opposite direction? And what role will you have in bringing about that change? A recent New York Times editorial observed that in conceiving of the New Deal in the earlier part of the last century, Franklin Roosevelt had a broad and muscular conception of liberty, one that saw all Americans as having the freedom that comes from an economically stable and prosperous life. Roosevelt said, we have come to the realization that true individual freedom cannot exist without economic security and independence. I know those words uttered in a different time now take on personal meaning for the members of the class of 2020 who face a tough job market. But as eventually all of you take on positions as lawyers or other professionals, your capacity and with it your responsibility to take part in the shaping of an evolving society will grow. The education you have attained arms you with the potential to make a difference in this world as your careers develop. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And I would add that a legal education is especially powerful. Mandela also said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, it is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. Joy. The law is a profession of service, as well as a profession of opportunity. The profession allows us a range of growth opportunities and lifelong learning. With these opportunities, learning and related rewards can come joy, and really what is life without joy? High salary, status, and fame are often measures of, of success, but they alone do not bring joy. I will not presume to give you a formula for how to achieve joy while being a lawyer or other professional. Ultimately, that is a question that only can be answered by each one of you individually. But what I will say is that the pursuit of joy, of happiness, should be central to our lives, along with an ethic of service, a giving of love, and a constant gratitude for those who love us. I know that in these times, joy is blunted by daunting challenges. But heed the words of the great Apache chief Vittorio who said, every struggle, whether won or lost, strengthens us. Graduates, on this one occasion of joy, you pass from being students to alumni of the University of Colorado Law School. As you now advance in your lives and as legal professional, professionals and advance in new routines that don't involve the Wolf Law Building or Zoom classes, Remember that you remain part of the Colorado law community. In closing my initial remarks, best wishes for your onward journey. I look forward to the day I can see you in person and shake hands with each one of you. We'll now hear from Doug Goodfeather, who will offer an honor song for our graduates. On this momentous occasion, we acknowledge that our law school and university are located within the traditional territories of the Arapaho, Ute, 
and Cheyenne peoples. In doing so, we also celebrate the diversity among us that began with the country's first peoples. It's now my pleasure to introduce Doug Goodfeather. Doug. I want to say thank you, and my name is Doug Goodfeather, and I come to you in a good way today to offer you the song of encouragement to continue on in your endeavors. When we were born, we were born with the law of nature, right and wrong, and skills in us. So as we walk in this world, we always have that urge to continue that. that Unique knowledge that we come with. So I encourage you to keep on and to be the warriors that we're meant to be. To persevere and continue to always make a difference in the impact people. They always make a difference in the impact. And it began from you, so thank you for your endeavors and your perseverance. And this song talks about the things that we go through sometimes are hard, but together we're going to rise and we're going to stand strong together and keep together moving forward. We're going to pick each other up. So that's what the song says today. And congratulations to all of you. We all of you have good health, your families, your loved ones, your friends, and move forward and keep moving to be yourself. Because sometimes it will be better. But like our elders say, we got to keep moving with each other. Together. This is so an important time that we can see each other and how important so I want to say thank you for this opportunity. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. 
salvation, and all the good of your heart to save people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that honor song, uh, Doug Goodfeather. Uh, I'm now happy to introduce Professor Blake Reed, who will present our 2020 Honorary Order of the COIF Award to Congressman and Colorado Law alumnus, Joe Neguse. Congressman Neguse could not join us live, but has recorded a message. Good morning. It's a privilege to be with you, albeit at a distance, to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Law school is a rigorous endeavor under the best of circumstances, and we could not be prouder of each and every member of the class of 2020 who persevered not only through the extraordinary and difficult circumstances of the past two months, but overcame all the challenges they faced over the past three years to be here today. This ceremony is but a modest recognition of the high level of dedication, resilience, and achievement, and of the support they've received from their friends and family. All of our graduates have distinguished themselves in numerous ways that we take pride in recognizing today. It's my privilege to recognize our graduates who've excelled academically. The practice of law is inextricably intertwined with the development of legal thought and argument through intellectually curious exploration of doctrine and respectful, intellectually honest debate. The graduates we appoint to the Order of the Coif have demonstrated not only a high level of academic excellence, but a commitment to maintaining the intellectual integrity and rigor of the legal profession. Under the COIF's constitution, only the top 10% of the graduating class of each law school is eligible for membership. Because grades are not yet finalized, final membership will be announced at a later date. However, it is our tradition at graduation to confer honorary membership in the order to a member of the Colorado law community who has practiced with distinction. This year, we present that honor to Congressman Joe Neguse. It is a personal privilege to recognize Congressman Neguse, who is a 2009 alum of Colorado Law and was an upperclassman when I was a student at CU. Even in law school, his commitment to leadership was apparent as he served as the president of the Student Bar Association before going on to be elected to the University of Colorado Board of Regents and then appointed to lead Colorado State Consumer Protection Agency. In 2018, he was elected to represent Colorado's 2nd Congressional District, which includes Boulder and the University and its coverage. And Congressman Neguse, whose parents immigrated to the United States from Eritrea, is the first and only African American elected to serve in Congress in Colorado's history and the first Eritrean American to serve in Congress. Through his time in public service, he has showcased an exemplary level of intellectual honesty, a commitment to the rule of law, and a deep-seated understanding of the legal system that motivates his longstanding work on behalf of the people of Colorado. For his many, many achievements and his leadership, we are pleased to confer honorary membership in the Order of the Coif to Congressman Joe Neguse, who will deliver recorded remarks here. Hello, my name is Joe Neguse, and I have the honor and privilege of representing you and the people of Colorado's 2nd Congressional District in the United States Congress. I want to thank the University of Colorado Law School for this tremendous honor and Professor Reed for his very, very kind words. I'm very proud to be a CU alumnus and I am so incredibly grateful for the opportunities that the University of Colorado and Colorado Law have afforded me and for the support that I've received from this wonderful institution for many, many years. So again, thank you so much for this recognition. I am truly honored. I also want to say congratulations to class of 2020 graduates. We live in uncertain times. And of course, as you know, your commencement ceremony is an unconventional one, certainly very different than any other CU Law commencement in recent memory. I know that this is not how you envisioned your law school graduation, but I hope that you and your families are staying safe and staying healthy. Our community, our state, and our country have always risen to the occasion to overcome challenges together. And I have no doubt that we'll do the same now as we face together the unique challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. I know that each of you have put in many years of hard work, of long hours spent studying in the Wolf Law Building, time spent preparing outlines and writing essays, and so much more. Put simply, graduating from law school is not easy, and you should be incredibly proud of this important academic accomplishment. As you leave CU Law and you enter the legal profession, I ask 
and hope that you'll each consider how you can best utilize your immense talents for the greater and public good. To that end, I offer the following quote. After all, it wouldn't be a graduation ceremony if I didn't offer a quote. Over 50 years ago, a young US Senator from the state of New York said the following, that each time a person stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. Senator Robert Kennedy's words inspired a generation then, and they certainly ring true today. And so as you enter the workforce, we trust that each of you will serve as a ripple of hope, that in these unprecedented and uncertain times, we are confident in knowing that having thoughtful and dedicated and knowledgeable leaders is more important than ever. And it heartens me so, so much to know that this new class of lawyers, the, the class of 2020 from CU Law, will be leading our state and our country for years to come. So again, congratulations and best of luck to you and your families. Thanks so much for that message, Congressman uh, Nagus. Um, now we'll hear from uh, class of 2020 mem me uh, member, Adrian Untermeyer. Uh, Adrian has uh, the honor of being elected by his fellow classmates to speak at this ceremony. Uh, after he shares his reflections, we'll hear from three of the class of 2020 officers. Uh, class Treasurer uh, Freddie Steinling and Class Secretary Molly Jinkley uh, will talk about the class of 2020's gift and the awards distributed this year. Then Class President uh, Dana Steiner will introduce our speaker, Justice Monica Mar Marquez. Uh, each of these students is an out outstanding leader who exemplifies the kind of service commitment that makes us all proud. Adrian. Well, good morning. Thank you. And congratulations, everyone. My name is Adrian Untermeyer. And uh, when I showed up at law school three years ago, my glasses did not look like this. They were a uh, thinner, wirier affair, um, a little more flashy than sturdy. So when a rainstorm hit during graduation, I popped open my umbrella, which uh, caught those flimsy glasses and sent them flying down to the ground. With a pair of Shattered glasses, I was blind as a bat, off to a great start at law school. Plus, I had arrived in this new Western state just a few days earlier. I was hanging out with my aunt and uncle up in the mountains. Driving was my only way home, and driving is a tough job when you can't see. So I needed a quick fix for my broken glasses that day. I staggered across a busy street to the only store I knew. I bought a tube of super glue and I carefully laid out a napkin near the coffee station to perform some emergency surgery on my spectacles. It was a quick fix, but gluing my glasses got me through the drive home and the first few weeks of school thereafter. And in time, I found a permanent solution, a sturdier pair of glasses, less flashy, less wiry, but better suited for the job in the long run. A quick fix followed by a permanent solution. And my little crisis was nothing. For we students faced a collective crisis those first few weeks. A steep learning curve, a confounding course load, and a sickening suspicion that we didn't belong. Quick fixes abounded. We panicked. We scoured our casebooks. And we panicked some more. 
But as with my classes, permanent solutions emerged. We found our passions in clinics, journals, and jobs. We planned for the future and rolled with the punches, including the painful pandemic that sears us today. And now we celebrate the most permanent solution to those first week woes, the passage from student to graduate with the noble title of attorney just on the horizon. Quick fixes followed by permanent solutions, a method for law school and for life. And it strikes me that method is precisely what America needs at this precarious moment in our history. Because throughout our lifetimes, the promise of America, like my old glasses, was plenty flashy, but maddeningly flimsy for most. Now, today's crisis quickly fixed some old problems. Prisons and jails freed men from their cages. Everyday workers are respected for once. And each of us is taking notes on our leaders so we may reward their successes and punish their failures in November. These quick fixes are welcome, but permanent solutions must follow this time as well. And I can think of no better group to bring forth those solutions than the incredible graduating class in attendance today. So to permanently heal our nation, I urge you this, let every legal service be a public service. Let every legal service be a public service. For those becoming prosecutors or defenders, do justice in every case and fight for social conditions that make crime obsolete. For those working for a judge in the government or in the private sector, find the pinch points in our democracy and use your newfound knowledge to smooth them out and sand them down. And for those on a different path, even if you aren't yet sure where it's headed, capture this moment, capture your passion and spread it until every last American gives a damn about building a stronger society. Let every legal service be a public service and let our nation flourish for all, once and for all, as permanent solutions flower in the fertile Colorado ground, cultivated in our precious time here at CU. So thank you, bless you, and please join me in congratulating the class of 2020, the purveyors of permanent solutions in the era to come. And it is now my privilege to introduce Freddie Steimling to present the class gift. Thank you, Adrian. Hello, everyone. My name is Freddie Steimling, and I've had the pleasure of serving as the class treasurer for the past three years. It's been a great honor, and I appreciate the confidence and trust you've placed in me and the other class officers. I also appreciate the efforts that the class has put into helping to raise funds for our class gift. To that end, I am pleased to announce that our class will be giving the school a student care package, which includes practical items to improve the comfort of law students. The package will include night white noise mach machines, book stands, and some items for the school's kitchens. To my peers, 
Thank you all for a wonderful three years and for making my job so easy. I wish you all the best and can't wait to see what you accomplish next. With that, I'll turn it over to our class secretary, Molly Jickling, to present the student faculty and awards. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. As our class secretary and public service pledge representative, it is my absolute honor to share with you some of our accomplishments. From our very first day of orientation, CU has emphasized the importance of public service and access to justice. One way the school has done this is by encouraging all students to sign the public service pledge, committing to provide at least 50 hours of pro bono legal work by the time they graduate. I am proud to announce that 33% of our graduating class completed this pledge, and even better, that the 59 students who did it logged a historic 10,747 pro bono hours over the last three years. We reached this impressive number because of the dedication of our students, many of whom far exceeded the pledge's 50 hour requirement. 16 students volunteered between 101 and 200 hours. 15 students volunteered between 201 and 400 hours. And four students volunteered between 401 and 500 hours, all on top of a full academic schedule. The student who volunteered the most, however, was our classmate Luke Davis, who volunteered 835 hours, primarily with the Colorado State Public Defender. This is impressive and difficult work, so thank you, Luke, and thank you to all the students who volunteered their time serving others. In addition to these public service accomplishments, a number of students have also been honored this year for their academic achievements and commitment to the law school community. Please join me in celebrating these graduating students, as well as some faculty and staff who were recognized at our award ceremony last month. Lauren Atzenbeck, Blair Bayless, Sam Barth, Vanessa Cortez, Evan DeWitt, Shelby Dolan, Therese Fox, Daniel Franz, Leah Fougere, Zachary Linneman, Stone Macbeth, Corinne McWilliams, Bianca Oprea, Amber Palomelio, Michael Salazar, Noah Stanton, Dana Steiner, Katie Tran, Leah Travis, Adrian Intermeyer, and our faculty and staff award recipients, Nicole Netkin Collins, Professor Ben Halim, and Professor Bloom. Congratulations to all of you. And now it's time for me to turn things over to our class president, a person who has worked tirelessly for us over the last year, my dear friend, Dana Steiner. Thank you, Molly, for the introduction. And thank you so much to everyone who has made today possible. I don't know many members of the public who are familiar with their state Supreme Court justices. And um, when they are, it's rarely for a good reason. But luckily, those of us in the legal field have a special relationship with the court and with the real life humans who sit on it. Like Molly said, my name is Dana Steiner. And I have the wonderful and unique privilege of introducing Associate Justice of the Colorado Supreme Court, Monica Marquez, who will be joining us live in just a moment to give the keynote address. Justice Marquez grew up in Grand Junction, Colorado. She graduated from Yale Law School, started her career in commercial litigation and employment law, and spent time working in the Colorado Attorney General's office before she was appointed to the court in 2010. She's one of only 10 openly LGBT state Supreme Court justices and has worked tirelessly to increase representation of Latinx and queer people in the practice of law. Like all of us though, she's so much more than the entries on her resume. I actually met Justice Marquez before ever starting law school at the Diverse Admitted Students Visitation Weekend, where we toured the courthouse and got to see the impressive collection of Harry Potter memorabilia she keeps in her chambers. Even though we're not able to be with her in person today, I have a feeling that most of us of the graduating class has already been able to spend time with Justice Marquez because she makes herself available to even Colorado's baby lawyers and law students in a myriad of ways. After announcing that she would be our commencement speaker earlier this year, I had countless graduates express to me how much her mentorship, leadership, and warmth has meant to them during law school and how pleased they were that someone who knows us and knows Colorado law would be able to address our class. 
Without further ado, please give a silent but warm welcome to Justice Monica Marquez. I want to make sure I'm not muted here. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Okay, uh, let me start again. Congratulations, class of 2020, and thank you for inviting me to speak at your commencement. Um, what an honor to join you online today, live from my chambers, uh, to celebrate with you. Uh, when Dana reached out to me in February about this, my schedule for today looked a little different. Um, I was supposed to be moderating this all-day water CLE here in Denver, and frankly, I was trying to figure out how I was going to be able to kick off that event in the morning, dash up to Boulder for graduation, and then zip back downtown to Denver to wrap up my moderator duties. Um, but you know, lucky me, the pandemic just took care of all of my logistical headaches. It's been like magic. Um, just in this last week, I have administered an oath of admission to a group of February bar examinees. I delivered a commencement address to the Rifle Campus of Colorado Mountain College. I spoke on a CWBA panel. I participated in the court's very first uh, WebEx oral arguments. And right now I'm getting to celebrate commencement with all of you, all without leaving my chambers. And um, even better, my wife figured out on YouTube how to use the wall clippers to give me this home pandemic haircut. So I didn't even have to make a trip to the salon anyway. Um, you know, I could actually get used to this. It's been very efficient. Um, and as it turns out, I, I, I may have to. Um, I know that this spring has been very challenging in all kinds of ways. And I also know that for many of you, getting through law school, hands down, has been the hardest thing you've ever done. It is a tremendous accomplishment. And so, I can imagine how heartbreaking it has to be not to be able to celebrate all of this in person with your classmates and your friends and your extended families. I wish so very much that I could be there in person to see your faces and give you real high fives. Um, and on the other hand, I'm really grateful to the law school for this opportunity to join your virtual commencement ceremony. I'm also deeply aware that I think I'm all that stands between you and your virtual diploma, so I'll try to keep it short. Most of you have heard some version of my life story, so I'm not gonna repeat that here, other than to say that in my nine and a half years on the court, I've discovered that my role as a justice reaches well beyond peppering lawyers in oral argument and staring over my reading glasses from the bench and writing opinions. We serve as ambassadors of our legal system to the larger community. And I have been lucky enough to speak with all sorts of high school, college, law students, and community groups across Colorado and across the country. And I've seen firsthand what a difference it makes to young women and Latinos and LGBT students, folks from my hometown on the Western Slope to meet and engage with a Supreme Court justice who reflects some part of them and their experiences. And I'll tell you, there is no greater joy than inviting a young person to sit in my chair on the bench and to look out at the courtroom from my perspective, to literally inhabit my space and then see it from my view and to watch that young person's face light up with possibilities that he or she had not previously imagined. And so it matters. Your courage and your persistence today matters, not just for you, but for all those for whom your journey will light the way. We are definitely living in an extraordinary moment in history. And the last several weeks have been unlike anything any of us has ever experienced. And honestly, we don't know what the future holds. We're facing unexpected challenges, and no matter what our personal circumstances are, we're all grieving the loss of something. For some, it's been the loss of independence and freedom. For others, it's been the loss of a job. Maybe you suddenly have no quiet place to study, or you're wondering where you're going to be living in the next few months. Maybe your loved ones are working on the front lines. 
and maybe you're suddenly juggling new or additional family or childcare responsibilities. Perhaps like six members of my own family, you've been hit with COVID-19. Or like me personally, you have found yourself praying anxiously in a hospital parking lot for someone who's lying upstairs in that hospital struggling to breathe. So let's be real. It's been scary. It's been disorienting. And of course, we all just want it to be over. And right now, it feels like being on a trapeze, you know, a trapeze artist who lets go of that bar and is flying through the air with nothing to hold on to and, and no net below. So here we are, holding our breath, hurtling through that liminal space, that great in between. And lately, I've just tried to be present with it, to, to breathe it all in and to let it carry me. Because before the world turned sideways two months ago, our lives were all so busy, so frenetic, that being forced to take a little collective time out has given us an interesting opportunity to rediscover what's truly important in life. And so, although this time has been really hard, I hope that each of you takes a moment to cherish this opportunity. You all are learning in an incredibly compressed period of time what really matters to you, who you really are and what you're made of. And I urge you to soak up all the wisdom you can from this situation and to let it carry you forward into the rest of your life. You will survive this. And having come through it, nothing will stop you. Why? Because you'll know now that you're brave enough, you're fierce enough, you're resilient enough to handle whatever life throws at you. Because here's a little secret, falling down, getting knocked down, getting beaten down, all of that is inevitable. It has happened to me more times than I can count. What matters is finding the strength to get up again, and again, and again. And I hope that someday you will look back on this time and you'll say, I'm actually glad that happened because that is when I learned what I'm capable of. Now how you come to define a meaningful career from here on will be largely a matter of your own personal philosophy and it's going to be shaped by your core values. There's, there's no one right way to do it. So today, I'm just gonna share a little collective wisdom that's been passed on to me by many of my own mentors. And these five bits of advice have guided me on my journey. So take them for what you will. First, take good care of yourself, especially at times like these. You went to law school to become a lawyer in order to help other people. But in order to carry out that mission, you have to take care of your own physical, mental, and emotional health, or I promise you, you will burn out. And I will also confess that it took me way too long to figure this one out. For the longest time, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, healthcare, schmelthcare, yoga, shmoga. But since then, um, I have come to realize that sleep, exercise, good nutrition, taking breaks, all of those are critical to performing your best, both as a lawyer and in life. It is truly the foundation for everything else. Second, build community, get involved. Figure out what inspires you. Whatever you do, use your talents to contribute to this legal profession here in Colorado. So reach out, connect with others, find a bar association or an in of court, Find a nonprofit, a community board. We need you today more than ever. You all are the best hope that we have for this profession. Third, find mentors. Uh, mentors will make all the difference in your life and I cannot emphasize that enough. Mentors come in all forms and in all phases of your career. I still have mentors, even now as a justice. And mentors, they don't have to look like you and they don't have to share your same background. In fact, I would say beware. Sometimes, sometimes your best mentors 
will come disguised as cranky judges. So be willing to accept their constructive criticism. You will be a better lawyer for it, I promise. Fourth, pay it forward. In the same way that I urge you to find mentors, I implore you to please mentor others as your own careers unfold. And you may be thinking, what? Come on, what do I have to offer? I'm just getting started. But never underestimate the value of the experience that you do have at whatever stage of your career you happen to be. What may seem to you like just a casual cup of coffee or a 15 minute conversation can make all the difference in the world to someone who's even a short distance behind you in this journey. Others are gonna open doors for you and you in turn must open doors for others. Finally, I will share some critical advice that my father gave to me as a 2L. Know that your reputation is everything in this profession. And by that, I don't mean your title, where you work, how much money you make. It's about you, your character. You don't build that overnight. Your reputation in this profession will be the cumulative product of every interaction that you have every day with everyone in the community starting right now. So be mindful of how you treat others. And when I say that, I don't just mean your colleagues and the judges before whom you might appear. I mean your staff, your clients, opposing counsel, court clerks, witnesses, jurors, the homeless guy on the corner, the people who are gonna clean your building at night, everyone. Be gracious. Every day matters. Every encounter matters. Your behavior going forward, positive or negative, it will have ripple effects in the community over time that you can't even imagine today. So how do you do all this? Well, I'm not gonna lie and tell you it's easy. It certainly doesn't happen overnight and it takes lots of patience and loads of courage. And the bad news is, guys, you know what? There's still gonna be moments of terror. And the worst news is, guys, most of those come after the bar exam, actually. If you become a litigator, you will have that first deposition, that first hearing, that first trial, that first argument before the Colorado Supreme Court. You will make mistakes, but you will get through it, I promise. For right now, today, just know that there are moments in life that should be treasured forever, and graduation is absolutely one of them. So take time today to soak it up. Be present. Take a look around you, wherever you are. You made it. But you didn't get there all on your own. And somewhere, either in the room with you or online, there is a significant other, a spouse, a parent, a sibling, a teacher, or maybe just a good friend who has put up with you and all your stress for the last three years. And we haven't even gotten to the bar exam, people. Okay? You owe them. So take time today to let them know how much you appreciate and love them because you would not be here graduating today without their support. Remember, you have been blessed with an education that no one can take away from you. COVID may have taken away the pomp and circumstance of this celebration today, but that education can never be taken away from you. And now you have an opportunity and an obligation to use that education and your talents to go out there and make this world a better place. I know it's terrifying, but it's also wildly exciting too. So just trust that it's all gonna work out. And the bottom line is you only get one shot in life. So go for it. Thank you class of 2020 and congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Justin Marquez, for those uh, wise words and the inspiration um, that you've given us today, but also throughout the, the time that our graduates have been in law school and gotten to, to know you, at least many of them have. And your mentorship and, and inspiration, I'm sure, will, will be.
be a big factor in getting our, our graduates going. Thank you. Um, and now members of the class of 2020, we'll recognize each of you and the degrees for which you've worked so hard. Now, if we were able to gather in person, each graduate would be hooded to symbolize the conferral of the degree. Uh, the, the class of 2020 voted to select three faculty members as honorary hooding professors. Professors Fred Bloom, Helen Norton, Scott Skinner Thompson. Unfortunately, they won't be able to hood you. Hood you. They'll have to, to watch on symbolically on the side and symbolically hood you wherever they are. Um, Senior Assistant Dean of Students uh, Whiting Dimmock will now read the candidates' names and Registrar Shannon Foley will assist with featuring the graduates as their recognition is approaching. Hunter Kiyoshi Aiken. Congratulations, Hunter. Well done. No, Hunter is not the only person we're going to be recognizing. Um, I'm sure we'll be. <laughs> we'll get things in order here. This is all live. You know what they say about live TV, so live uh, commencement is, is you know, some, some foibles we have to get through here. Ah, Sydney. Sydney Lynn Alms. Congratulations, Sydney. I promise the pace will pick up. Ariel Sarah Amaru. Great job, Ariel. Rachel Marie Amspoker. Congratulations, Rachel. Thank you. You want to say a few words? I thank you and congrats. Okay, great. Yeah. Carlos James and I. That's a really cool name. Lauren A. Atzenbeck. Thank Lauren, great job. Thank great you. Job. Congratulations, everyone. Pradeep Singh Badesha. Hey, Deep. Congrats. Ooh. 
Thanks, appreciate it. I just want to uh, thank Harshi, the love of my life, my parents, my sister for supporting me. Um, I'm a first generation student, um, a child of immigrants, so this hasn't been easy, so I appreciate all that support. But I really wanted to highlight that today would have been Ahmed Aubrey's 26th birthday. Um, his death is intimately connected with the field that we have chosen to enter, and I hope we all recognize the privilege that we now have to make the system more just and fair for those of us who might not be celebrating today. Uh, I'll post a link in the, both the YouTube comments and here um, if you want to honor his memory. Thanks. Thank you. Nathan O. Bartell. Congrats, Nathan. Hope you get back out to get to fishing in the mountains soon, if you haven't already. Thanks, Dean and Naya. Thanks, all my classmates, faculty. Congratulations to everybody. Samuel H. Barth. Congratulations, Samuel. Blair G. Bayless. Blair, congrats. Thank you, Dean and Naya, and thank you to mom, dad, Joseph, the whole Samuelson family, uh, grandma, grandpa, Bubby, and Laura and Eric. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Great. I wanted the whole airport to cheers. <laughs> Ty Robertson Beach. Ty, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, thanks to uh, our wonderful faculty and um, administrators, uh, to my family for their love and support, uh, to Rebecca for helping me through the whole thing. I love you. And um, to my classmates, uh, let's work together, build a better world. Thank you. Jordan and Becker. Jordan, congratulations. Great having you in my class this, this year. Yeah, thank you, um, and congratulations to everyone. Um, good job getting through the weirdest semester of all time. Hilary Bernhardt. Thank congratulations, so Hilary. Thank you. Thank you to my parents, especially, and my sisters, Emily and Amanda, and to my boyfriend, Colin, and to everyone who's helped me with this journey. Amanda L. Bishop. Great job, Amanda. Amelia G. Black. Congrats, Amelia. Thank you, Dean and Naya. Um, thank you to my family, both the family I was born into and my chosen family. I really could not have done it without you and all your support. And I look forward to working with all my classmates soon. Congratulations. Amanda Blassen Game. Congratulations, Amanda. All right, I'm gonna try to say this without crying because I'm emotional. <laughs> Um, I just want to say thank you to my friends and family that have supported me, not only through law school, but through life. Um, I especially want to thank my parents, I'm going to be the emotional one, who have always encouraged me and given me the space to follow my dreams. Um, I love you around the world and back again. Thanks, Amanda. Nicholas A. Blodgett. Congratulations, Thanks, Nick. everybody. How's the time? Congrats, everyone. We never thought you'd do it. You could join your party. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm proud of me, too. Hunter Bahannon. Hunter. <laughs> 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 I don't 
thank my family. Uh, couldn't do it without them. <laughs> Matthew Booley. Congratulations, Matthew. And to your dog for his support, I'm sure. Benjamin J. Britton. Ben, congratulations. Thank you. I'd like to thank friends and family, especially my wonderful wife, um, who decided to go into labor a little bit early during finals week. Yeah. That's why I'm coming from you or coming to you from the hospital. <laughs> thank you. Great. Congrats. Elliot Browning. Congrats, Elliot. Ashley Lynette Brunswick. Ashley, great job. Nicole Marie Tanya Burnett. Nicole, congratulations. Gregory D. Callahan. Congratulations, Gregory. Michael William Caps. Michael, congratulations. Thanks, everybody. Add me on LinkedIn. <laughs> Brianna Jo Champ. Congrats, Brianna. Thank you. Um, I'd like to take a second just to thank my parents and grandparents. Uh, I think they've all taught me how important it is to have grit and determination and also how important a good education is. So thank you so much. Brian Jordan Collins. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks to all my friends and family, particularly my parents watching in Abu Dhabi. Love y'all and see y'all soon. Anna Cope. Hey, congratulations to Hannah and the gang there. Vanessa Raylin Cortez. Congrats, Vanessa. Thank you, everybody. Um, I just want to give a quick praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for everything that I am and that I have is all from him, and it's all evidence of his unmerited grace, love, and mercy in my life. Um, I also want to thank my parents hiding in the background um, and my, my family and extended fr and friends and stuff like that. Um, I couldn't have done it without the village's support behind me. And congratulations to my fellow grads. And you can get through the bar. I believe in you. It's possible. Thanks. Oh, no. Luis, congratulations. Jared Mazayar Darae. This is Jared.
I guess that would pass us for a speech. Michael P. Davidson. Congrats, Michael. Thank you. I uh, forgot I had a mustache, and uh, that's the thing I'm going to remember for forever now. Um, I want to thank my family and my parents who are taking a lot of pictures. Congratulations, everybody. And Amy, my girlfriend. Caitlin Marie Davis. Good job, Caitlin. Luke Laval Davis. Congrats, Luke. Zachary G. DeFelice. Zachary, congratulations. Bobby DeMarco. Bobby, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, congratulations to all my classmates. Um, I just want to thank my family, who's in the other room right now, uh, for all the support uh, with the past three years um, and for the administration for putting this all together. Thank you. Evan DeWitt. Evan, congratulations. Thank you so much, Dean and Aya, and congrats to everyone. Um, I just want to quickly thank my friends and family. Um, I simply just could not have done this without you. So uh, with that, I miss everyone, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Thanks. Sean Thomas DiCioli. Congratulations, Sean. Michael De Janeiro. Michael, congratulations. Vincent A. De Michelle. Vince, nice uh, outfit there. Congratulations. Robert William Michelle. Robert, congratulations. I'd like to thank my family, our dog George, uh, Sarah, her family, um, friends, could not have done it all without you guys. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you, thank you. Yay! Congrats to George and Sarah and everybody there. Shelby Dolan. Congratulations, Shelby. Thank you, Dean and I. I just want to say a quick thank you to all of the beautiful friends I've made at CU Law, and of course my family, um, dad, mom, and Mads, and then Bryson, couldn't have done it without you. Uh, thank you for all of your support. Love you guys. Kevin Thomas Doss. Congrats to Kevin. Danica R. Douglas. Way to go, Danica. I'd like to say that I'm so grateful for CU Law and for my family support in following my life goals. Thank you all very much. Lindsay Dundas. Lindsay, Hi. congratulations. Thank you to all my professors, especially the ones in the environmental program. Thanks to my family, especially my grandmas. And um, thanks to Coffee for getting me through this whole thing.
Kara Dunn. Okay. Congratulations, Kara. Thank you. I've loved everything about my experience at CU Law. Thanks to everyone who made it possible. Danielle Jordan Alaloof. Danielle, congratulations. Kayla M. Enriquez. Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you, Dean and I. I am um, so grateful to my family, friends, and Colorado law community for supporting me on this journey. With such a strong support system, the seemingly impossible task of graduating law school became possible. In the words of the great Elle Woods, what, like it's hard? C. Fisher. Andrew, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Naya. Uh, congratulations to all my classmates. I'd like to thank all the faculty, staff, and classmates that have made the last three years wonderful. Uh, I'd also like to thank my mom and dad, my brother and sister, and the rest of my family that's watching, as well as my girlfriend for all of their support. Couldn't have done it without them. Love y'all. Ashlyn Fiscus. Congratulations, Ashlyn. Thanks, guys. Thanks to all my family and friends who supported me through this journey. Um, it's been great doing three years of law school with all of my classmates. So thanks, everyone. Gary R. Fischel. Congrats, Gary. Caleb Jonathan Fitzgerald. Caleb, way to go. Sarah Fossum. Congratulations, Sarah. Therese Marie Fox. Therese, congrats. Thank you, Dean and Naya. Thank you also to all of the wonderful uh, professors that I've had over the past three years and for dealing with my many, many questions uh, along the way. Thank you also to all of my family and friends, especially my parents and my board for me. Woo. Daniel Minor Franz. Daniel, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and thanks to everyone who helped me get to today. Aretha Denise Frazier. Way to go, Aretha. Congrats. Joseph Lester Friedenberg. Congratulations, Joseph. You have to like really squat. You can back up a little bit. Leah Marie Fugere. Congratulations, uh, Leah. Good to see you and your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to my family and friends, my fiance, Martin, and to Hilo here. I'm so excited to see what the class of 2020 does in this world. Thank you.
Allie Galvin. Thank you. Uh, Allie, congratulations. Thanks, Dean. Um, I promised my dad I would do this. So in the words of Snoop Dogg, I want to thank me for believing in me, for doing all this hard work, for never quitting, for almost no days off. But in all seriousness, I want to thank my parents for putting up with every breakdown and meltdown and um, every amazing thing they've done for me my whole life. And I want to thank my fur children and my friends and my boyfriend. Congrats. Emily Jessiel Garcia. Emily, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I first want to thank my parents. Mami, papi, muchísimas gracias por siempre um, apoyarme y todo lo que he logrado es gracias a ustedes. Um, congrats 2020. Um, thanks to my family back in New York and in Georgia supporting me. Um, and thank you to my classmates and professors for making Boulder feel a little bit more like home. Congratulations, Boo. Carlos E. Garza. Congratulations, Carlos. Thank you, Dean and Aya, and uh, thank you to all the wonderful professors who have learned a great deal from during my time at CU. And uh, thank you to all my classmates who I've gotten to know uh, a great deal over these three years, and I hope to run into you all again. Congratulations. Leanna Gavin. Congratulations, Leanna. Thank you, Dean and Aya, and thank you to my family who are all watching this right now. Your support means the world to me, uh, especially mom and dad. I couldn't have done this without you. And finally, thank you so much to all of the amazing law professors who got me through the last three years. Lauren Golem. Lauren, congrats. Thank you so much. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, you guys have raised the bar immensely, and it was an absolute privilege to be able to sit beside you every day in class. Um, I wish you the best in your futures, and I just want to say thank you so much to my amazing parents over there, my amazing support system, and I wish everyone the best of luck in the future. Hope to see you soon. Christina Michelle Gonsalves. Way to go, Christina. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Aya. I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, my friends I met in law school, my roommates, everyone who has supported me through this time. Like, you guys mean the world to me, and I couldn't have done it without you. And um, I'm going to look forward to working with everyone in the future and doing good things and making this world a better place. So thank you. Riley Ganya. Congrats, Riley. Sierra Elise Gonzalez. Sierra, congratulations. Thank you, Dean. I just want to say thank you to my um, amazing family and friends, especially my parents, grandparents, and my girlfriend, Chelsea. Um, and congratulations, everyone. Good luck. Charles R. Goodson. Charles, congratulations. Thanks, Dean. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick second to thank my family, uh, my dad, my sisters, Emily and Caroline, and my mom. I love you, mom. Um, and then I want to thank my friends and my corn family, the Smiths, uh, Don and Leslie, Nicole and Chris, and my wonderful girlfriend, Melody. Um, thanks for the diploma. Robert G. Goodwin. Robert, congratulations. Thank you, Dean. Uh, I just want to thank my family, my mom, dad, my brothers, my extended family, uh, aunts and uncles, all of my wonderful friends, and especially uh, my friend Mark McKee, who passed away three years ago around this time. Uh, his memory and uh, 
gives me the strength to go forward and I'm going to do the best that I can. Thank you. Samantha M. Graf. Samantha, congratulations. Great job. Thank you, Dean and I. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. Nicole J. Green. Nicole, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Aya. Um, thank you also to my wonderful boyfriend, Andrew, my family, his family, friends, classmates, and professors, everyone who's been a part of this journey. I'm so excited for what the future has in store for our class. Congratulations, everyone. Savannah Griffiths. Congratulations, Savannah. Thank you, Dean and Aya, um, and thank you to everyone who has helped me get here, especially my wonderful family. And thank you to our faculty who have been such amazing mentors for me over the past three years. Congrats, everyone. <laughs> Nicole Bro Brooke Grimacy. Congratulations, Nicole. Mara Luz Guadarrama. Great job, Mara. Kathleen F. Gilfoyle. Congratulations, Kathleen. Thank you, Dean and Aya. Thanks to all my professors and classmates for a great three years also. Um, finally, thanks to my parents. Uh, you guys have got me through it all. Love you guys. She starts with all the things. Yay! Please stop, Dad. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Victoria Guzman. Victoria, great job. Congratulations. Alexandra A. Haggerty. Congratulations, Alex. Alexandra. Griffin Carpenter Gilbert Hay. Griffin, congratulations. Thank you, Dean. I'd just like to say I'm proud of my boyfriend, Jay, who I met during law school orientation. And thank you to my family for getting me through all this. We've got two law buffs in the family now. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, everyone. Huge thank you to my fiance, Nikki, and my parents and the rest of my family members that helped me with this uh, big achievement. So, congrats. Don't forget your. Congrats. Now, there's a party. Aaron Elizabeth Hogan Freemall. Aaron, congratulations. Courtney Rose Illion. Congratulations, Courtney. Thank you to my very extraordinary parents, my amazing fiance, and my incredible professors, especially Anne England and Professor Sloan Quebec. Congratulations, everyone. Andrew C. Jacobo. Congratulations, Andrew.
Cody B. James. There you go, Cody. Congrats. Thank you. It's been a good three years and good luck to everyone. Kayla Jankowski. Congratulations, Kayla. Molly Nellis Jickling. Molly, congratulations. Thank you so much, Dean and Naya. I'm so lucky to have too many people to thank individually. So just know if you've been on this journey with me in any capacity, I love you so much. I am so grateful for you and congratulations, guys. Chase Logan Johnson. Good job, Chase, congratulations. Danielle Susan Johnson. Danielle, congratulations. Thank you, I just wanted to thank my friends and family that are watching and the mentors and professors that I've had throughout law school. Congratulations to the class of 2020. <laughs> Gabriella C. Johnson. Congratulations, Gabriella. Thank you so much, Dean and I. I also want to thank the professors. Uh, congrats to all of my fellow graduates. And thank you so much to my friends, my family, my parents, especially my brother and my fiance, Ethan. Thank you. <laughs> Edith M. Jordan. Edith, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, Dean and I. Um, there's way too many people for me to thank. Um, and so that goes for, you know, my, my friends and family who have listened to me complain pretty much every other day, uh, to the groundskeepers and housekeepers who are able to make, um, Wolf Law such a beautiful place to study. Um, and then, you know, most, uh, my classmates as well. Um, there's been times when, you know, there's people I barely talk to, don't even know their name, and they're still willing to reach out and help, uh, give you notes, make sure that you are, uh, being the best student you can. And so I hope that the gratitude I feel, uh, for that is reflected in all the work I'm able to do going forward. Ashlyn Kaler Rios. Congratulations, Ashlyn. Thank you. Thank you to all of my family for helping me get here and especially to my, my husband and my mother for letting me do it with a newborn. Woo! Amanda Nicole Klitsky. Amanda, way to go. Congrats. Hunter Knapp. Hunter, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and I, and Dean Dimmick. I'd also like to thank my family and friends, my girlfriend, Jesse, and all my amazing professors. Congratulations, 2020. Nora Elizabeth Koppelman. Nora, congratulations. Emily Miller Kurth. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you, Dean and I. And I'd like to thank my family and friends and all the amazing professors I've had during my time here. My brother specifically asked for a shout out, so shouts to Tom. Maya Labrie. Maya, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Congrats on finishing law school. Jade Taylor Lang. Jade, congratulations. Thanks. Just want to thank my family and friends, especially my parents, um, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Chelsea Lorenz. 
Chelsea, congratulations, way to go. Thank you. To the class of 2020, I couldn't be happier to not walk with a better group of people. Um, thank you to my family, my friends, my mentors, and the professors who have inspired and supported me. So cheers. Monica Rose Leslie. Congratulations, Monica. Thank you, Dean and Naya. I want to take a second to thank my parents, my siblings, my grandparents, my friends, and all the amazing professors at CU Law. Uh, congrats, uh, class of 2020. Zach Linneman. I see a theme here. Um, congratulations, Zach. Michelle E. Long. Michelle, congratulations. Rodrigo Lugo. Rodrigo, congratulations, felicidades. Stone Macbeth. Way to go, Stone. Congratulations. Thanks so much, Dean. Uh, I just want to thank my family, my friends, and my classmates and professors. I wouldn't be here without you, and I can't thank you enough. To the class of 2020, cheers. We did it. Alan William Magnuson. Alan, congratulations. Thank you um, all. Uh, where am I? Um, I can't see myself, but um, I'm currently we wearing my high school regalia to which, and pajamas, to which my dad responded, um, not much pomp considering the circumstances. Uh, but even then, um, I can't imagine a better way um, to celebrate with you all. I'm so happy and so proud and wishing you the best for the future. Thank you. Cheers. Gregory A. Max. Congratulations, Gregory. Thank you, Dean. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. Thanks to the faculty and staff, my friends and family, and of course, my lovely wife. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, babe. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Asia May. Asia, congratulations, way to go. Thanks everyone. I like to say thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister, Bria, who's right Hi. here, who's up next. Hi. And thank you to Kobe, Beyonce, and the Lakers. We would have won the championship this year, but that's just how it goes. <laughs> Bria May. Congratulations, Bria. Thank you, Dean and I. Um, I want... Sorry, it's my sister. But um, <laughs> I just want to thank my family and my friends, and namely my mom and my sister. Um, I never would have made it through law school without my sister. And I'm just so glad that I got to do this experience with her. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Well done, family. Laura Barton Shafto McClure. Congratulations, Laura. Colleen McCroskey. Colleen, congratulations. We would have won the championship this year, but that's just how it goes. Thanks, everyone. I want to especially say thank you to my parents who I'm here with, Reunion. and my grandparents 
and my Congrats. brother Congratulations, Brian. down in Alabama. Congrats to the family there. Corinne Mirasu McWilliams. Congratulations, Corinne. Thank you, Yanaya. I also want to send a special thank you back to my family and friends back home in Oregon, especially my parents and siblings. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, everybody, especially to my parents, who I am Laura here with, Martin, Shafton, and Martin. my little doggy, Congratulations, Laura. and Silicon Flatirons. Shira Lee Meyerwitz. Congratulations, Shira. Thank you, Dean and Naya. Congratulations, everyone. Um, I want to thank everyone who helped me get to this day, especially my mom, dad, my boyfriend, Michael, and my furry four-legged friends, Jacques and Leela. Thank you so much. Colin M. Barreau. Colin, congratulations, well done. Thank you, Dean. Um, just thank you to my family, my friends, and I guess this dog, even though she's been more of a distraction than help. Kevin Isaiah Miller. Kevin, way to go, congrats. Matthew Thomas Montoya. Congratulations, Matthew. Thank you, Dean and I. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God. I want to thank my mother, Madeline, uh, my grandmother, Anita, my entire family, um, my amazing girlfriend, um, all of my friends, my outstanding teachers and mentors throughout the years, uh, and of course, my fellow classmates from the class of 2020. Um, I'm incredibly honored. I'm deeply humbled. And mom, we did it. Shelby Moorbach. Shelby, congratulations, well done. Thanks so much, Deans. Uh, of course, I wanna thank my wonderful parents and my loving boyfriend, Nick, for all of their love and support, all of my friends and family for their encouragement, and uh, most importantly, my wonderful professors and classmates who have made my law school experience uh, really everything I could have hoped for. Um, also, you know, before the pandemic, I was really distraught at the idea of graduating without my dog. So that is uh, one wonderful benefit of this virtual graduation to have the presence of Coda Dog here. So thank you all so much. Eric D. Moya. Eric, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I want to take the time to thank my family and friends uh, from back home in Texas, and also the friends that I made along the way here that I you know, still can count on to support me. So thank you to everybody. Willoughby Fox Myers. Congratulations, Willoughby, way to go. Joshua Benjamin Naftalin. Congrats, Joshua. Good job. Cameron Lynn Netherland. Cameron, congratulations. Howdy. Thank you all. Congratulations, everybody. Bianca Oprah. Thank you so much to all my friends and family, to my mom especially. And thank you so much to this little guy right here, my best bud ever. His name's Happy. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Tyler J. Owen. Congratulations, Tyra. Tyler. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Dean. Um, uh, thank you and congratulations to my friends. Thank you to my amazing girlfriend and mom and dad. I know you're watching on a 15 second delay, but thank you. I appreciate everything you guys have done. Um, couldn't have gotten here without you guys. Um, and I would like to take the last two seconds to introduce my good friend, uh, Thomas Petrie.
Rafael Pagan Alcina. Congratulations, uh, Rafael. Thanks, Dean and I. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody, all the friends and family and the professors for all the hard work. Um, and cheers to the class of 2020. Uh, congrats. Cheers. Amber Noel Paliomilio. Amber, well done. Congratulations. Abby Taylor Parker. Thank you. Thank you, deans, and thank you to my friends and my family for all your support. Love you guys. Abby Taylor Parker. Abby, way to go. Congratulations. Ashley N. Peltier. Ashley, congratulations. Thanks, Dean and Naya. It was such a fun few years at CU Law, and I already miss it. Woo! Go! Stephen William Pepper. Stephen, congratulations. Uh, cool. Thank you. Hools, this one is for you. I love you. Uh, Marsh, Mike, love you guys too. Wish you were here. Congratulations, class 2020. I cannot wait to beat you all in court in a few years. Aline Pesh. Aline, congratulations. Thomas James Petrie. Congratulations, Thomas. Thanks, Dean and Aya, and thanks, Tyler, for that very early introduction. Uh, I just want to send a thank you to my friends, family, and all the faculty at Colorado Law for all your support. So I look forward to seeing you all in person soon. Jerry Pollock. Congratulations, Jerry. I'm all by myself, so I gotta have my own little ruckus for moral support. Uh, just wanna say thank you to everyone. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you all, and good luck. William Fripp Prelo III. William, congratulations, well done. Awesome. What feedback? Laurel Fiona Miranda Quinto. Way to go, Laurel. Am I on here? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are. Congratulations. Um, yay. yay! Cheers to everyone. Cheers to my mom and my roommate, Abby. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Talis McArdle Radwick. Tal Talis, congratulations. Thank you, Dean, and thank you to everyone else who has gone on this journey with me. Thank you, Dad, for teaching me patience, Mom, for teaching me tolerance, and Pella for just being with me. <laughs> I love you all, and congratulations. Thank you. Jordan Lopez Regine. Jordan, well done. Congratulations. Thank you, Deans. Thank you to my family. Thank you to all the professors. But most of all, thank you to my classmates that made this such an incredible journey. Uh, I can call all of you my friends, and I'm very grateful for uh, the, the ways you've made my life better. And I look forward to seeing the ways you make the world better. Keep challenging your perspectives, keep being brilliant, and thank you all. <laughs> Daniel I. Ress. Congratulations, Daniel. Thank you, Dean and Aya, and thank you to everyone at CU Law, uh, to my friends, my family, and to my partner, Diane. Mark E. Ringer. Congratulations, Mark. Thanks, Dean. Uh, I'm thrilled to be done, and I'd like to thank my family for uh, putting up with me for the past three years.
Sarah Rippy. Sarah, congratulations. Well done. Avin Elizabeth Rose. Avin, congratulations. Good to go. Thank you, Dean. Um, my community is huge, and so thank you to everybody who is here with me. Um, thank you for the support, and thank you to see you Law. Go class of 2020. <laughs> Lauren Anna Saken. Lauren, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Dean. Can't see my video, but mazel tov to everyone. Um, congratulations. I have so loved my time at Colorado Law, and I am so thankful for this opportunity of to have learned with all of you. Michael R. Salazar. Michael, way to go. Congratulations. Thank you to everyone who helped me get here. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. And uh, I wish the class of 2020 all the luck down the road and hopefully everyone stays in touch. Thank you. Cynthia Jeanette Sanchez. Cynthia, way to go. Congratulations. Thank you, Dina and Naya. Gracias a mis padres, Clemente y Monica Sanchez. Lo hicimos. I also want to thank uh, my professors and all of the community that I built here in Colorado. And I am looking forward to being part of this community. And I hope that we can all continue to foster access to justice. Andrea Savage. Congratulations, Andrea. Well done. Thank you so much, Dean and Aya. Thank you to my family, especially my mom and my husband, Joel. Uh, thank you so much to the professors who made these three years wonderful. And then so much love to my classmates. I can't wait to see how you all change the world. Andrew L. Scarponi. Andrew, congratulations. Way to go. Conrad Richard Schreier. Congratulations, Conrad. Thank you, Dean and I. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Academy. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family, uh, specifically my sister, my grandmas, my mother, especially my dad, for all of this advice. And I'd also like to thank the faculty. Bryson R. Siebold. Congratulations, Bryson. Thank you. Uh, shouts out to my family, my parents, uh, my sisters, Brielle and Kira, to my girlfriend, Shelby, and all the friends I've made here at CU Law. Uh, you guys all really got me through it. Um, and I look forward to what the future may hold. Shindak Sio. Congratulations, Shintak. Way to go. Jessica Serrano. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank you, Dean and Naya. And I'd just like to say thank you to my family and especially to my son, Magnus, for being the best study buddy these past few years. Congrats, Magnus. Samantha Jean Lee Silverberg. Way to go, Samantha, congrats. Thank you so much, Dean and Naya. Um, I just wanna thank the faculty and my classmates and mostly my family for all their support. Dylan M. Slagle. Way to go, Dylan, congrats. Austin W. Slaughter. Congratulations, Austin. Thanks, everyone. Um, you've definitely caught me on a bad hair day, but I'd just like to thank my friends and family who've helped me along the way, wherever you may be watching. Uh, cheers, everyone.
Eric Grayson Smith. Congrats, Eric. Jonathan T. Smith. Jonathan, congratulations. Rebecca Claire Sokol. Rebecca, congratulations. Way to go. Dean and I, and thanks uh, to my family and my friends and to Ty, probably the best thing to come out of law school for me. Um, congratulations, everyone. Jacob Easton Spitz. Jacob, way to go. Congrats. Noah J. Stanton. Noah, congrats. Good job. Thanks, Dean and Naya. Uh, I just feel honored and humbled to be here among classmates and professors who inspire me to do good and meaningful work. Uh, and I just can't wait to see what you all do out there. So congrats, everybody. Frederick James Steimling. Freddie, great job. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Naya. Uh, let me begin by saying I'm so, so grateful for the amazing opportunities that this school's given me, um, especially for the uh, clinical opportunities with professors Reed and um, Bernthal. And then I also want to say thank you to my grandparents, uh, Jim and Carol, who are watching at home in Pennsylvania, and for my mom, uh, who's there as well. So they made this all possible, and uh, it's, it's been quite a ride, and I hope you all the best. Dana Ruth Steiner. Congratulations, Dana. Good job. Thank you, Dean and Aya, and thank you to everyone here, all of the faculty, students, staff that have continually educated me over the past three years and will continue to educate me now. Um, I love you all truly, um, and I just want to emphasize what Adrian said earlier, but let all legal service be a public service. And um, I look forward to a long career of public service with you all. So, cheers. Great, cheers. Ashton Stefan. Ashton, congratulations, well done. Laura Sukar. Laura, congratulations, way to go. Thank you. I just like to say that I have way too many people to thank and I'm so blessed to be sitting next to all of my family and hopefully having all of the people I love watching. That being said, I'd like to pop a bottle for the entire class of 2020. <laughs> wow, we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lauren Terry. Lauren, congratulations. Way to go. Lauren M. Tobin. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you, Dean. I would just like to give a quick thank you in no particular order to my amazing fiance, both of our families, my friends, my mentors, and my amazing doggo for all of their love and support in helping me reach this dream I've had since I was six years old. I would like to give a congratulations to the entire class and particularly my fellow first generation college students and or law graduates. Our journey here has been a little bit different than our colleagues, but we are have our accomplishments have redefined what it means to be a lawyer in today's society and i am so honored to be among you all congratulations someone else popped a cork of champagne or something there holly e tokar holly congratulations well done thank you dean and i and thank you to my friends family and professors and congrats to all the graduates. Katie Tran. 
Katie, congratulations. Well done. Uh, thank you, Dean and Aya, to all of CU staff, to all of my professors, my classmates, friends, and mentors, my boyfriend. Um, happy Asian Pacific American Heritage Month to the handful of Asians graduating this year, and to my family who's watching, including my grandma, Gamang, Yadin, Tungyo. Cheers. Woo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> A lot of quarks being popped there. Working with Travis. Jordan, congratulations. Well done. Leah Travis. Leah, congratulations. Way to go. Thank you, Dean and Naya. I just want to thank my family and friends for supporting me. And I want to give a special shout out to Nigel and Swade for tuning in. Congrats, everyone. Henry J. Trujillo. Popping bottle and graduation, you all are alcoholics. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dean and Naya. Uh, it's been an honor to be with all of you for the past three years, especially this man right next to me, Griffin. Hey, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Congratulations, Henry. Aaron M. Tucker. Aaron, congrats. Well done. Thank you, Dean and I, and especially thank you, Dean Demick. I'm so grateful to have such a wonderful support network of friends, family, faculty, and colleagues. Without you, I almost definitely would have dropped out and become a Sherpa years ago. I also want to especially thank the love of my life, Emily, and our amazing little dog, Rocket, for sticking with me through thick and thin. Thanks again, and Sco Buffs! Nicholas Teresiano. Nicholas, congratulations. Thanks, Dean and I. Uh, I am stoked because three years is really long. Uh, thanks, you know, my, my parents, they're watching from another state. Uh, my partner, Betsy, couldn't have done it without any of you. Uh, you kind of carried me across, across the finish line. So way to go, class 2020. Hi. Adrian Untermeyer. Adrian, congratulations and nice speech. Thank you, Dean, and thank you to all the Sattlers, Untermeyers, teachers and friends um, who got me here, especially those at the Hollow, Mom, Dad, Ava, Koa, Nora, Lotus for bringing me out, um, to those in the mountains, Ina, Ken, Liam, Clancy, Jen, Lucy for nurturing me while I was here, and to Steve for suggesting see you. Jessica Valenzuela. Jessica, well done. Congrats. Julie C. Van Winkle. Congratulations, Julie. Well done. Thanks, Ananaya, and thank you to my family. Mom and Dad, I love you so much. Um, Colleen, you're amazing and supportive, and I can't wait for our next adventure. Cheers. Nathan Vasquez. Nathan, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and I, uh, and uh, thank you to my family and friends who are watching from various places across the country. Uh, thank you to uh, my professors and mentors for encouraging me to believe in myself and for helping me get over a big case of imposter syndrome. Uh, congrats to my fellow Colorado Law Review family. We did it, we made it to the other side. Uh, I want to leave you with a line from my favorite song, Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. Congrats, everybody. I'll see you in the neighborhood. William J. Vallotton. Congratulations, William. Ryland Mateo Warner. Rylan, congratulations, well done. Thank you, Dean and Aya. Thank you to my family, my parents, 
Uh, thank you to my sister. Thank you to my friends that I've had outside of law school and in law school. Shout out to Bruce section. Woo! Thank you. Miles Williams. Miles, congratulations. Way to go. Thanks, Dean. Just want to say thanks to my mom and dad and Nas, my wife, whose dream has been to hood me. <laughs> thanks, <Matthew. laughs> Samuel J. Wyatt. Sam, way to go. Congratulations. Valerie Marie Young. Congratulations, Valerie. Way to go. Thank you, Dean and I. Uh, um, I just want to say that I shared this degree with my friends, my family, especially Doug, and all of my wonderful pets. Uh, <laughs> who have been there for every uh, breakdown and every victory these past three years. I love you all and we did it. Corianne Zacker. Corianne, way to go. Congratulations. Pavel Zhiravlev. Congratulations, Pavel. Well done. Julia Zinchenko. Julia, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Aya. Thank you, Dean Dimek. Thank you to my husband who has been a great support to me, my great family, and Spasiba uh, Mamachka and Babachka. Thank you. And now our first LLM graduate, Michael Apreku. Michael, congratulations. Way to go. Thank you, Dinanaya. Thank you, Dinanaya, and thank you, all my professors. And I would say a big shout out to my LLM classmates, their family to me. And I want to thank my parents and my wonderful wife for, and my family for all the um, support they gave me. Thank you. That's my family right there. Um, Noriana Marcela Franco Novoa. Hey yo. Thank, thank you to my LM fellow colleagues. Remember that you can't forget to stay focused. Um, thank you to my girlfriend. I love you. Uh, gracias, muchísimas gracias a mi papá que están aquí, uh, a mi familia, a mis hermanos, a mis sobrinos. A toda mi familia, a mis amigos que son increíbles, les quiero muchísimo. Gracias por siempre confiar en mí. Gracias por todo su apoyo, los adoro. Gracias. Bueno, felicidades a toda la familia. Congratulations, Mariana. Eto Gritishvili. Eto, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Dinanaya, and congratulations to all my colleagues, uh, especially to my LLM family. And I'll, I also want to thank you, my friends and family who are watching this back in Georgia. Thank you again. Tatsuya Hasagawa. Tatsuya, congratulations. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for this precious learning opportunity oh, yeah. in such oh, a yeah. beautiful precious environment. We really enjoyed Colorado life. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Loretta Obianaju Isuga. Congratulations, Loretta. Well done. Thank you so much, Dean and I. I would like to say a huge thank you to my family, my friends, and being so far from home, I'm so grateful for the very warm community I met 
at see you. Thank you so much. And to my LLM family, I love you guys. Thank you, JJ. Thank you so much. Angie Aliest Rose Cottage Johnstone. Angie, congratulations. Way to go. Thank you, Dean and I. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my wonderful family who are watching here in England, in Scotland, and of course back home in New Zealand. Um, I'd also like to thank the lifelong friends that are the LLMs, as well as everyone in the Colorado law community who have made this experience unforgettable. Thank you. Anjefu Adakole Ochai. Yeah, congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to God. I just want to say thank you to my parents who have been my pillars of support. This one is for you, mommy and daddy, to my siblings, and to my girlfriend, or rather fiance. Thank you for all the encouragement and the support. To you, Jonathan, thank you. And thank you to my LM class. You guys rock. Way to go, young Jeffo. Congrats. Gabriela San Ramon Fuentes. Gabriela, felicidades, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. I would like to thank my family and the Boulder community for everything they have given me and my family as a third generation CU student. I really hope there will be a fourth. I also thank you the, uh, a lot, the LLM community. You're great guys. Congratulations. Alvin Leonard Stores the second. Alvin, congratulations. Well done. I believe these are now the MSLs. Oh no, not yet. Almost. Um, Christy Tamiku. Christy, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and I, and I would like to thank uh, all my LLMs and everyone in law school. It's been a wonderful journey. Um, it's my pleasure to be in Colorado, and definitely the environment in Colorado has made it way more interesting uh, to study. And yeah, although we suffer because of COVID and everything, but it's been a real pleasure to be here and get to know all of you. Thank you. Paul Henry Thompson. Paul, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Dean and I. Um, I wanted to say thank you today. It's a military spouse appreciation day. Um, I didn't get to meet a lot of the three L's, um, but uh, the only reason that I'm able to be here and do this is because I have an amazing wife, Lindsay, and three kids that help me do everything. Um, thank you also to the outstanding LLM faculty and staff. JJ, you did a great job. Uh, Dean and I, you've got a great team running your LLMs. And to the 2020 JDs, welcome to the legal profession. Uh, you guys are going to do outstanding things. I only got to meet some of the three L's, um, but I know I got to keep on my toes because you young guys have, have got it coming. Um, thanks so much for let, welcoming me back to the Colorado community. And uh, I see you guys in Guam or wherever the Navy sends me next. Thanks. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you for your service. Now for the MSL graduates, Michael Joseph Ahrens. Michael, congratulations. There you go. Amanda L. Billing. Amanda, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and I. I just want to thank uh, my professors that I had along the way, um, Amy Bauer. Melanie Kay, John Francis, Marcus Funk, Margo Kaminsky, Nadava Ryan Pierre, and Dale Skivington, and congratulations to my fellow MSLs. Timothy Robert Dolquist. 
Congratulations, Timothy. Alexander Benjamin Graber. Alexander, congratulations. Well done. Thanks, Dean and I. Hi to my parents, if they're still watching. Uh, to all the other graduates, I say the same thing I have since my eighth grade graduation. Have a great summer. Yumi Ha. Yumi, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, girls. Couldn't have done it without you. Love you. Ellie Hammonds. Shelly, congratulations. Thank you, Dean and Naya. I'm so grateful to be a part of the MSL program. And for all the wonderful people that I've met through Colorado Law and this program, I also just wanted to thank my um, husband for his amazing love and support, my parents and my brother for their encouragement. I also wanted to thank uh, professors Bauer, Francis, and Kay for everything. So, and for everybody at the law school who worked together to put this together. So thank you all. Aaron E. Hutchinson. Aaron, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Dean and Aya. Congratulations, everyone. I am grateful to have learned from everyone who I sat in class with, all of the faculty and the administration at the law school. Thank you so much for putting on a virtual graduation for us. Catherine Margaret Schulz. Catherine, congratulations. Thank you very much, Dean. And thank you to all my professors. Thank you especially to my MSL cohorts. Without y'all, I couldn't have done it. You were my motivation and we all pushed through together. Congrats, class of 2020. Lori Ann Sieb. Lori, congratulations. Well done. Samantha Maria Thomas. Samantha, congratulations. Way to go. And I think that uh, concludes the uh, name, naming of all of our graduates. Thank you, Dean Demick, for for your your and also Shannon Foley for your for your help with that. Um, okay, we're coming to the end of our ceremony. Um, but before we end, uh, we have the symbolic conferral of degrees upon you. So, graduates, wherever you are, please stand as I confer upon you your degrees as Dean of the University of Colorado Law School. I hope you're all standing, at least the graduates among you. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Colorado, I hereby confer upon you, as applicable, the Juris Doctor degree, the Legend Magister degree, or the Master's in Studies of Law degree. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Okay. At this time, I invite you, invite you to join me in viewing a message from Law Alumni Board Chair Richard Murray, who will welcome the class of 2020 to the Distinguished Company of Alumni of the University of Colorado Law School. Hello, my name is Richard Murray. I graduated in 2007 and I am honored to serve as the chair of the Law Alumni Board. As of today, you are officially alumni of the University of Colorado Law School. You join the ranks of over 8,000 fellow graduates of this fine law school as lifetime law buffs. As alumni, 
Please share a common experience, and I encourage you to keep in touch with our law school. We are proud of you, and we want to know about your life accomplishments. Colorado Law alumni have key roles all over the world, in law firms, businesses, nonprofits, courts, and government. They make a difference, and they can be a resource for you. I also invite you to continue to engage with your alma mater by attending alumni events, sharing your story with students, and taking continuing le legal education offerings. Know that your relationship with Colorado Law lasts a lifetime. Congratulations and welcome to the Colorado Law alumni family. Thank you, Richard. It's customary at the end of Colorado Law School commencement to recall the words of our Dean Emeritus, Don Sears. I leave you graduates, friends and family with Dean Sears words. You have now received the Juris Doctor or other law degree. Please do not take undue pride in this title. For in the final analysis, the test of your professional fit fitness will lie not in your title, but rather in your service to society and the, in the extent to which you combine professional skills. Sorry, my phone died earlier. Legal learning with intense integrity, great energy with high ideals. What kind of lawyer you will be depends in large part on the kind of person you are. I hope you may continue to grow and that in the years to come, you will live the most challenging life of all, the life of the mind, the life of service. To you all, we wish you great success in your chosen profession. Thank you all. Thank you all for attending the celebration of the University of Colorado Law School class of 2020. Uh, please make sure to go to uh, CU or 2020.cu.law uh, for the website honoring uh, with postings on, uh, what the, for the website which honors the class of 2020 with a number of postings. Uh, thanks to all of the staff that helped to put this together, um, uh, our Dean Demick, Yesenia Delgado, Marissa Schenkter, and of course our IT team, uh, John, uh, Teresa, Nick, you all did a terrific job and I know everybody joins me in, in, in heartfelt thanks for, for what you did. And, and there are others who helped as well. Thanks to you as well. Um, once again, congratulations, class of 2020. We stand adjourned. I can send you the picture of me.